Hi, and welcome to a special Power Cut edition of The Weekly Show. We have power in Colombo because the government cares about us more than the rest of Sri Lanka. Now, this government likes to treat us like mushrooms. They feed us shit and keep us in the dark. They don't really explain what's going on with our electricity crisis, so we'll try to explain to you as simply as we can. So Sri Lanka gets its power from four main sources. Hydro, thermal, coal, and Mahindra Rajapaksa's ego. Now, how does that power get to us from here? Boom, the grid. This magnificent creation is how we get electricity. Now, the way the grid works is that whenever you like turn on an AC here, it has to generate electrons over here. So like whatever you're using has to be created over here. It has to be finely balanced. So the way they do it is they put transformers at various locations, and there's a central uh, control center, central control center in Demetagoda. Uh, now the problem is our equipment is actually kind of old. So you can see how this will go wrong. So what happened during the blackout we had on Sunday? Well, what happened was a transformer in Biogama just blew up for whatever reason. Now the control center is being as old as it is. There's actually a guy in there who's holding two pylons and he's like passing current and they just pass him tea. But like uh, that, part, that system obviously doesn't work. They couldn't control the overflow and the whole country tripped. Now when that happens, we have a surplus amount of electro electrons being produced. So we have to pause this. We have to pause this, which is easy. So hydro and thermal, we can just like stop flowing water and we can stop burning oil. But then the coal thing is a lot more complicated to pause. It's a bit like pissing on a barbecue to turn it off. So it's like, blah, it's not pausing. So then, so then let's assume they go and fix the transformer and they're ready to get everything back online. So then, OK, we turn back on the hydro. That's easy. We turn back on the thermal. That's also easy. But the coal, the coal actually takes three to five days to turn back on. So we don't have enough electricity to serve everyone. So that's why they have to cut off power to certain areas, like right now. Now, what do we do about this problem? Well, the first problem of like stuff exploding and the grid crashing, we need to upgrade the grid. We need a better control center, we need better transformers, and we, it needs a bit of tender loving care. Uh, the second problem we could actually solve but if we could just keep the Norwich Light coal plant running all the time. Now, we could do that if we had, say, a connection to India where we could pass those excess electrons. But India gave us the Ramayana, never forget, and they were involved in the war, and they're Indian. So Sri Lankans don't really trust them, so that may not fly. Uh, but the one thing is for sure. If the government doesn't solve this power problem, they'll be out of power soon. 